All right, good afternoon, and uh, welcome to the 39th meeting. Uh, just for the, uh, anyone who's uh, joined in, uh, Councillor Compton Hobbs is uh, joining us by phone today. All right, uh, you have in front of you uh, the adoption of the agenda, but the first thing we need to do is we need to, uh, as our CAO is away out of town, we need to appoint a uh, town clerk. And I'm going to pass the floor to the Chair of Finance and Minute Policy. Councillor Ramos. Thank you, Mayor. Would like to make a motion at this time that we appoint Randy Dillon, the Director of Engineering, as our town clerk for today's meeting. All right, it's moved by uh, Finance and Min and Councillor Rumbold that uh, we appoint uh, Director Randy Dillon, Director of Engineering, for uh, today's meeting to act as the town clerk. Seconded by Deputy Mayor Wallace. Discussion? Well, I'll go along with any comment I said on this before. We have a director of financial operations who should be doing this job, and I think they should be appointed there interim and permanently. Okay. Any further discussion? What we should do, I think, is look to see if there's been a precedent set in the past uh, or if there's a policy. Yeah, I'm in favor. Yep. Just, just one second now, and I'll pass the floor to you, uh, Councillor Compton Hobbs. Uh, just to see if there is a policy that we uh, we have in place. Uh, Councillor Compton Hobbs. Yes. Okay, we're just about to vote. We haven't voted yet. Any further discussion? All right, none heard. All those in favor with the motion, indicate with aye. 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 Uh, contra Contra-minded? Okay, motion is passed. All right, so the adoption of the agenda, as it is a special emergent meeting, there's only uh, two topics today on the uh, agenda, uh, and that's what we'll be dealing with in this meeting. So a motion to adopt the agenda is presented for so the 39th moved. meeting. So moved by Councillor Pomeroy, seconded by Deputy Mayor Wallace. Discussion? Okay. Oh, Councillor Broomfield. Uh, one question. Was this project total 550000 would that be correct? Can we let's adopt the agenda first? Oh, and then the yeah. Okay. Uh, all those in favor, indicate with aye. 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 Contra-minded. Aye. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> I I'll slow down and wait for you, uh, Councillor uh, Compton Hobbs. I apologize. All right. So we've adopted the agenda. Okay. So I am going to pass the uh, floor over to the Chair of Municipal Services. For this one, I, I guess would be the right place for that, Director uh, or Mr. Uh, Dillon? Uh, that's correct, Mayor. Okay. So I'll pass the floor to the Chair of uh, Municipal Services for our first uh, item of business. Thank you, Mayor. <coughs> first item is contract award for road intersection upgrades. Be it resolved to appoint Harborside Engineering Consultants, NL, at a cost of $97,525.75 to perform engineering consulting services for the road intersection upgrades project subject, subject to the approval of the Department of Transportation and Infrastructure. Okay, it's moved by Councillor uh, Winders and the Municipal Services Committee that we award the contract uh, to Harborside Engineering at the amount of $97,525.75 for consulting services for the, <coughs> excuse me, for the road intersection upgrade project and subject to approval of provincial government. Seconded by Councillor Rumbold. Discussion. Is this the one you had the question on? Councilor yeah. Brumfield. Is this the project total value is 550000 This is the only, as far as I'm under understanding, this is only in the engineering side of it. Uh, but that's the total uh, project was 550000 Yeah, I'm right? pretty sure. Yeah. Uh, that's so, correct. Yes. So I have so, a quick question. Oh, no, go ahead. So yeah. basically at 97000 we're looking at roughly 20% of the value of the whole contract engineering fees, which is really what they call the soft costs. Well, that being said, we won't know what the true cost is until we get the engineering done to get the, the right ones. Uh, I'm glad to see uh, that we've, uh, you know, I guess there's another engineering consulting company that has entered into some work with the town or will possibly, which is, uh, which is good to see. Um, can we be a bit more descriptive, uh, Councillor Winters, on what the intersection upgrades are? Which <coughs> ones? Uh, I'd like to hand that over to Apple. Yep. But I'm, for, I'm pretty sure it's for Loring Drive. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'd, I'd rather. Uh, yes, Mayor, there are three intersections. One is the Hamilton River Road Loring Drive intersection. That would be the replacement of the lights and the upgrading of the whole intersection. 
the other one is a new set of lights uh, for the Kellen Drive Hamilton River Road intersection. And the third upgrade would be for the Grenfell uh, Street Hamilton River Road intersection. And that will be upgraded with the merge lane and, uh, and, and so on in that particular, at that particular intersection. All right, thank you. No, it's just that we were in the public session approving the contract. It's nice to know what uh, mm -hmm. that is. Any further discussion? Okay, none heard. I'll call for a vote. All those in favor of awarding that contract to Harborside Engineering, indicate with aye. 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 Okay, contra-minded. Motion is uh, passed. The next item, sir. All right, item two. Award contract for building demolition and debris removal. Be it resolved to award a contract to Big Red Group of Companies in the amount of $29,841.35 for the demolition and debris disposal of a dilapidated structure. Okay, moved by Councillor Winters and Municipal Services that uh, we award a contract to Big Red Group of Companies in the amount of $29,841.35 and demolition and disposal of a dilapidated structure. Seconded by Councillor Palmer. Discussion. Councillor Palmer. Uh, phases 29,000 just to remove the building, demolish and remove it. So are we going to be recovering this from the property owner? So my understanding, my understanding is that that will be now attached to the, do you want to pass the floor to you? Uh, yes, Mayor. Yes, Councillor. The, uh, this, this cost will be passed on to the property owner at, at the appropriate time. Uh, right now the, the work wasn't done by the property owner and the town then now has the right to move in. And, and, and dispose of this, uh, this structure. And <clears throat> excuse me, Council Palmer. I just, uh, before work starts, will there be a, um, a uh, uh, inspection of the actual structure to ensure there's nobody in the building? That's correct, uh, Councillor. Uh, we will have our MEOs up there and there will be an appropriate inspection to ensure that you know, the structure is actually vacant Okay. And then we'll have on-site supervision to ensure that everything is proceeding as to the, uh, the process of, of demolition. And yeah, because I, I believe there were um, at times some children in, in around the structure over the last mm -hmm. few weeks. And so just to be extra cautious, I guess. Yes, that's, that's correct, Councillor. Okay. Thank you. Good. And um, fine. So that uh, work then will be awarded today. They'll have seven days. So by next Friday, that should be completed. Or started to be completed? That's the intent, uh, Mayor. All right, good. Any further discussion? Okay, all those in favor, indicate with aye. 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 Uh, contra minded? Motion is passed. With that, and it being an absolutely beautiful day, we have no further business for this meeting, so I will entertain a motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Moved by Councillor uh, Winters, seconded by Councillor Pomeroy. All those in favor, indicate with aye. 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 Remind me to check on that motion too. <laughs> uh, all right, so uh, motion is passed and the meeting is adjourned. <laughs>